Hello. All right. Fold number four. Okay. So now it starts just like fold three. So you're going to fold diagonally this way. Okay. Open it up. Now you're going to fold diagonally the other way. So just like fold three, now you have that X. Fold horizontally again, just like fold three and crease. Okay. Remember the open edges face towards your body, the folded edge away from your body. Okay. You hold down on the paper, push this top edge into the inside and then fold this part down. Do it again on the other side, holding down the paper on the table. Push this top edge inside and then fold down this front triangle. Okay, and now you're going to pretend that there's a line down the center of your triangle. You're gonna fold towards the middle, just like fold three. Fold towards the middle. Okay, then now you have a back triangle. The back triangle for this next fold, flip it over and pretend there's a line down this center. And now you're just going, you're doing the same thing that you did on the front, you're doing it on the back. So now it got a lot skinnier and you have front and back and they match. And it makes a really cool little shape, okay? If you wanted to, for fold number four, let me just open it back up. So now you're back into fold three, right? So you have the fold, the front triangle folded forward. Okay, and now instead of having this back triangle go backwards, take the back triangle and wrap it around the front, kind of like it's hugging that front triangle. So it's giving it a little hug. And now it makes it just a little more interesting on the front too. We have all these really neat folds. Okay, so you can do fold four either way. Flip it backwards, that back triangle, or wrap it around the front triangle. All right, good luck.